hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i wanted to talk to you guys about my absolute homeschool must-haves like these are my homeschool favorites i feel like if you have these items you can homeschool <laughs> I would share them with you just in case maybe they're helpful I don't know you guys know I'm not great at giving tips and advice I can just show you what I do <laughs> anyway basically I have six things that are homeschool must-haves for me my very first thing that I must have to homeschool for me because you guys know we use a lot of electronics and a lot of interweb based stuff for inspiration electronic curriculum that type of deal so my absolute number one must have for homeschool is my iPad and this could actually be I know there's probably little fingerprints all over it sorry but um, it could be an iPad or it could also be an iPhone but uh, basically and I guess you'd have to include the internet connection huh but anyway for me the ipad or the iphone is everything in my homeschool it connects me to the internet and from the internet i can find anything that i would like to know apps all of our curriculum is mostly through our ipad or our iphones we do the majority of our note taking and our record keeping on Evernote, which is another app that I use on my iPad. Um, I think it's amazing because they can access most everything that we do here. They can take notes on here. Um, they can take pictures here. They can make videos here. If there is nothing else that I have, as long as we have an iPhone or an iPad and we get up and go, I always have something that I can pull from to do with them for school. I have lots of other stuff in our schoolroom that is very useful and we use on a daily basis, but our vision for our homeschool is to be remote. <laughs> we would love to homeschool and travel on the go and so I'm trying to prepare us for that and I just think it's it's awesome. I think it's wonderful. If you get an we got an opportunity to go visit grandparents for a week, all I really had was my iPhone or my iPad. And we were able to do everything we needed to do from there. Some of the curriculums that I have found to be helpful throughout our journey. We use apps like Learn with Homer, which I have mentioned before, um, abcmouse.com, which is amazing as well, Learn Time for Learning, which we currently use and we really enjoy using as well. Um, but then there's also other resources if you're a charlotte mason homeschooling family there is amblesideonline.com which has a free charlotte mason inspired curriculum there and then there's also i think it's all in one easy peasy what is it so then there's also a free curriculum called allinonehomeschool.com. I think that's what it is. It's called Easy Peasy Homeschool, but it's allinonehomeschool.com. Then there's lots of other resources that other homeschool moms um, have out there. Pinterest, you guys. Pinterest. Pinterest is amazing. It's, you know, when I have no other ideas. I head there to get some inspiration. That's also what I can um, access through my iPad or my iPhone. So that's kind of like a must have and it all comes from having your iPhone or your iPad. The second thing that I always have is composition notebooks. If you have been following our journey for a little bit then you know that I love composition notebooks. I have way too many. <laughs> But the bottom line is that I keep all of their work that they do in some way, shape, or form, all of the physical things that I am not logging through. Um, well, I do also take pictures of, say, there are projects and things and then log them into their portfolio on Evernote. But the things that I want to physically keep, some of the um, spelling tests or 
whatever else. If it's a worksheet that we've done, I cut it out and I put it into their composition notebooks based on subject. If this was their science composition notebook, then any science related worksheets that I wanted to keep, I would cut them out and paste them in here. It kind of gives me a little portfolio of the physical things that they've done. Any journaling, any things that they've written, um, go in here. So this is a must have for me. The third thing that I must have is kind of like my third and fourth thing is some type of art supplies. Watercolor, colored pencils, markers, any type of art supply that would be easy for you to just pop in your bag and go. Um, if we're out and we see some things in nature like a bee and we want to try and stop and color them, then when we come home we talk about it. We add a few facts to our art book or whatever which leads me to the fourth one which is which is your actual art book. So this and a few art supplies is what I must have. I try to get them to draw, draw and paint and you know, all that artsy stuff. I think it's fun for kids to do. We prefer to do this type of thing than crafting per se because crafting has to be prepared and this doesn't. I feel like this is a more natural, easier way um, then crafting so we choose to do things this way so we always have some type of art supply and our art book in our bags when we're on the go the next thing is pretty simple pencils <laughs> you need something to be able to write in those notebooks with so we have pencils pretty simple right and then my last homeschool must have is my best kept secret which is not a secret it's so not a secret but I think it's under Utilize. Like, don't sleep on this one, you guys. My must-have in homeschool is our library card. The library card is amazing. It's like your secret path to the world of education. You know, the internet and the library. <laughs> It's amazing. You can visit a libraries that are not in your area, but if in your area there has to be at least like four or five different libraries that you can go and do schoolwork and check out books on anything. They also have DVDs um, that you can explore with your kids and they have programs that you can attend. Like do not sleep in the library you guys. Find your library. Get your library card. You can reserve books when I plan out our units or um, we simply just want to study something and I need some physical books um, in addition to the things that I found on our iPad or iPhones. I go to the library. The library is our thing. It's our path to discovery. <laughs> that and the interwebs it's amazing so your library card so those are my six things did i say six things you guys my ipad slash iphone pencils your composition notebook um your art notebook art supplies and your library card was that six <laughs> was it six anyway I just wanted to share with you guys what I use and those are my must-haves my homeschooling must-haves I feel like if you have those six things the possibilities are endless I really do think this is a nice solid this is all you need slash this is all you need you know so I don't get me wrong I do have lots of extra things and we do use a lot of extra things because we are home now but our goal is to be on the go more and more and more we would like to be out traveling exploring adventuring all that jazz and I think that having these solid items would help us do all the exploring and all the adventuring that we would ever need to do in our homeschool so anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed and that you give it a thumbs up if you like videos like these. And I will see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs>